Hi, uh, I want to right off the bat apologize for any squeaks, moans, groans, or whatever you hear in the background. It is blowing outside again. The wind is like hurricane force one more time. I think it only blows about 300 days out of each year in the desert, and uh, it is doing it again here. In fact, so much so we had to turn Rosie so she's nose into the wind a little bit because there was this moaning, groaning noise coming from the, the vent refrigerator. So it's going, <laughs> and I, I couldn't do this intro. But, you know, I wanted to say that one of the nice things about living this um, this RV life, this extraordinarily free life and, and camping out on BLM land, is you can do exactly like you want to do. Like, for instance, right now I'm making a video sitting here buck naked. No, I'm not really. I just don't have my shirt on because it is pretty warm. It's in the 80s. Um, anyway, um, but if you wanted to, you could because there is nobody around here for, I don't know, a long ways. I would say about a mile in each direction now is our closest neighbor. So pretty cool. Um I'm going to show you uh, the spiral that I, I mentioned in the clip following this one. We did go to this spiral, and it was, a, it was a, a pretty cool to walk around this thing. Uh, it was much like a labyrinth, and I don't know if you know what a labyrinth is. Labyrinth is this design, and you walk around this thing, and it slowly makes its way to the center. And it's, it's sort of a thing where you're supposed to go slowly, meditatively, and it's kind of a, like a spiritual journey or something. And that's what I wanted to say about uh, this video, is that the desert is a good place to uh, not only sit around buck naked, but to um, to kind of uh, get your, your spiritual life, your whatever... Um, kind of get it together, you know, get your spirituality uh, together, um, because it's so stark, or any way it is for me. Now, maybe somebody else wants the ocean, or they want mountains, or whatever, but for me, uh, the desert, because it's so stark, and there's just not a lot of distraction, uh, other than the wind, that um, I, I find it real easy to go outside and just sort of fall into myself and think about uh, things that are going on and, and what it is I want to do and what I want to be when I grow up and, and all that kind of jazz, you know. So um, that's what this video is kind of about. And, and in all of our videos, I hope it comes through and I'm going to try harder to make it come through, is that, you know, if you don't like the way your life is going, uh, do something about it. Do something else. Go do something that you want to do. Make yourself happy because, you know, uh, life doesn't go on forever. Um, it, it, you know, is going to come to an end at some point. And it might be tomorrow, it might be today, it might be 50 years from now, who knows. But spending your life slaving away at some job that you absolutely hate and making no money and, um, you know, your life is just, you know, you'd rather be hit by a garbage truck than spend one more day in the life that you're living now then for God's sake, go do something about it, all right? Anyway, uh, enjoy the video, and um, yeah, enjoy. Uh, in the clip here, in this video, I show you the spiral, a spiral kind of like a labyrinth. It's uh, two and a half miles away from us, down this road here. But... You know, the desert is kind of a nice place for sort of a, a spiritual thing. You notice, you probably can't even see the van down there about a quarter mile away, and there's a trailer. Well, there was a trailer. I don't see him now. About a half a mile away. But this is not exactly your, your crowded campground. And I kind of wanted to say that a place to kind of get your act together, you know, to get your poop in a group. The desert is kind of a nice place to do that. And so I highly recommend coming here. Now, I don't mean necessarily spiritual stuff like, you know, get out and read your Bible or whatever. And I don't mean to demean anybody who likes to do that. If you like reading your Bible in the desert, then that's great. 
But what I'm saying is a place to kind of collect your thoughts, regroup with who you are and what it is you want to do, then this is one good place to do it, I'm telling you. It has certainly helped me. Last night, Mick and I sat, our chairs are still out there, sat in those chairs and looked up at the sky and looked at the stars. A little bit of light pollution from over the hill here because down that way is Yuma, but very, very little. I mean, not, not anything like what we'd have at our house. And we just looked at the stars and talked and, and it was great. So, if you ever want to go someplace to kind of fix what it is that you're thinking about and put your, your spirit at rest or whatever, I recommend the desert. We are at the Kofa Wildlife Refuge. It's about 20 miles south of Quartzsite, Arizona between Quartzsite and Yuma. And this is, I, I have no idea who built this, but it's a labyrinth. Actually, it's not a labyrinth. It's a, really, it's just a spiral. I think they said it's got 21 rings. I have not counted them. Let me count them now. It is the Cocapelli spiral. And it is a spiral. There is 21 rings. We rode our bikes, see there over there. It's pretty nice going down. We may be dead going back because it's uphill. So you may never see this. I may never post it. <laughs> but pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm gonna walk the spiral and I'll show you the middle when I get there. Well, we both walked the spiral. Nick is now walking it out. And just a shot of the mountains just past the spiral. Well, not just past, but a ways out. We're camped way out that way somewhere. About two and a half miles out that way. But I think you can probably tell the desert is starting to green up a little bit. You know, I mentioned that this channel is about doing what you want to do. One of the things that we wanted to do is we wanted to play music. We have since practically the day we met. And we played off and on throughout the years, but most of the time uh, we were busy raising kids and stuff like that. Well, this is a song that I wrote a long time ago, and uh, just thought I'd show you what we sound like just for the heck of it. So here you go. Oh, why don't we play Jeremy Eintos? Okay. <laughs> Two, three, four.
thanks for watching the video. Um, don't forget to like it if if you did like it, and if you didn't like it, well, I can't help that. Um, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, that helps us out and uh, lets us know um, that people are watching. And uh, also, I would say, if you have comments, please leave comments. Uh, tell me how I can make the videos better. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what it is um, that you you want to have, what you want to hear. Uh, because uh, that helps me know what to do. And I may listen to you, or I may say on you and do what I want to do because that's what this channel is about doing what you want to do so anyway like the video uh, subscribe leave a comment all right bye bye now